This is Dabu7. An update to the chemtrailing going on across the United States. This is something I've talked about in great detail before, and for those that have missed it, I have a video up of the military brass themselves coming out and stating that this aerosol spraying is very real. It's not just fake. It's not just normal planes. They admitted it. We've shown the guts of the inside of these aircraft and how they are put together to spray this material in the sky. A lot of it having barium, other metals mixed with coal ash. Coal ash is the main dispersal agent being used to mix all these other chemicals and compounds into what they're dropping in the skies. Now, the information I've just received from New Mexico, these images of a lot of different aircraft zipping way up through the sky, back and forth, dropping these chemtrails. Well, the person that zoomed in and got up close and personal on these aircraft were shocked when they come to see that these are B-2 or at least stealth bombers. Not sure the exact series, but ladies and gentlemen, we have stealth bombers now equipped with dropping chemtrails on us here in this country. Now, I know we're used to seeing the normal-looking aircraft up there that are equipped with uh, two or four nozzles to dump this chemical in the sky. This is proof this is tied into the military, that it's not just uh, you know, commercial aircraft out here that they're using doing it. Because they're using commercial aircraft in just stripping any logos, anything whatsoever from the plane, making it as bare as possible, and then conducting these chemtrail flights. Now, this is what I want to say, guys. If you try to track down, looking up in the sky, the flight paths of some of these chemtrail flights, you will not find them. You will not find them on flight radar, which tells you they are not normal flights. Start using your head. We just had an Anon here recently use the flight pattern from chemtrails to track down Shiloh LeBeau's flag that he had hidden at a compound somewhere. They used the flight patterns from the chemtrails to, f to find a freaking flagpole in the middle of this country, ladies and gentlemen. So, when you go looking for what aircraft just went above my house and dropped this chemtrail, and you see no record of any flight, that shows proof right there that it is a secret flight, that they're keeping it under wraps. My thing is this. We need to start tracking these flights down to where they're taking off from and where they're landing. It's something that I haven't seen anyone be able to do yet. I don't care if you see them coming down and going over a mountain in a restricted area. At least we know where. At least we know roughly the neck of the woods where they're, they're taking off and they're doing this stuff from because it's not happening from your everyday airport. It's coming from military installations, secret bases, and they are using stealth bombers to do this as well. So what's coming about from all this? Well, can you say more gallons? Can you say a lot of other diseases? A lot of mystery illness that's happening. A lot of sinus stuff happening happening to people across the country. And it has everything to do with their environment and the air around them. Everything that they're breathing in. And not only everything that they're breathing in. We're coming to find out that these small blue strands, Morgellons fibers, are being discovered everywhere. Not just in McDonald's chicken nuggets. But a guy goes through, one of the Anons goes through a video here, a Wendy's hamburger, a pickle from Burger King, chicken from the grocery store that hasn't even been cooked, all showing signs of having this Morgellons embedded within it. Ladies and gentlemen, I suggest you start to inspect your food a little bit closer. And even if you've got to pull out something to look a little bit closer, even on a microscopic level, you might want to, to see exactly what you're feeding yourself and your family, what you're consuming, because at face value, holding it right in front of your face, many people are not going to see these small things. That is what is so dangerous about this, and I'm telling you right now, it's in people all across the country, specifically because they are consuming products that have this embedded within it. Now, it doesn't help that they're dropping these chemtrails left and right on top of us. 
and they continue to do it every day. Now, we're never going to get a solid uh, answer from the government saying, yeah, we're dumping barium and, and, and um, more gallons on you on a daily basis in a secret program across the country. They're not going to say that. Okay, but what they have stated is that this aerosol spraying is very real. They're trying to use the excuse that they're trying to, to research the wind patterns in the upper atmosphere with this stuff. This is why they're crisscrossing every town and major city with it. They're, they're saying they're trying to study the wind patterns. I don't buy it. No one else is buying it. But that's their official excuse, and they've given one. For those that are still wondering and thinking that this is a conspiracy theory, it's not. They've admitted it's real. They are doing it. And as you can see here, they've even got their stealth bombers operational in doing so. So a shout-outs to the cats out there that send me in information. Wanted to get this out there so folks know. Now, this is what's going on in central New Mexico. If you have anything like this going down, let me know. Dabu7yahoo.com. I'll leave links below and continue to update with more as I come across it. Much love.